On the streets of Iran, there's one topic that everyone is talking about. The economy, hit by some of the toughest sanctions Iran has ever seen, as well as what some believe is government mismanagement. The COVID pandemic has caused the economy to plummet further. In 2019, the country saw widespread demonstrations after a fuel price hike. According to the Iranian government, more than 200 people were killed in violence. There's still unrest, but it's not limited to fuel prices. The goods we sell are basic necessities. Since last year, prices of some items have gradually increased by 30 to 50 percent. Pasta, noodles, salad dressings, tuna, tomato paste, everything you can imagine has had a 30 to 40 percent price rise in just one year. Iranian carpets are famous around the world, but even this trade has been hit hard. They blame it on many reasons, but usually it's the sanctions. We have to live, but we're struggling economically. Certainly the main reason is these sanctions, but management has a significant role too. The new president will have an uphill challenge when it comes to the economy. The chronic problem we've always faced is inflation. It's always been high and in the past decade was 40% on average. We had two inflation shocks in the last four to five years. Inflation in the short term could be controlled by interest rates, which in turn leads to recession. We can't continue going on with the current 40% inflation anymore. The government should fill its budget deficit and implement reforms. In the south of Tehran, many people earn less than $150 a month. The walls here have adverts for labourers, usually paying less than the minimum wage. The cost of living is very high. It's very difficult. People have many problems, rents and other miseries. You don't know whether to pay the rent or do shopping. Only God helps us. Officials should think about us. Renter is the youth and their future. I just feel ashamed when I can't buy something for my kid. At times, I can't really buy what I want for her. Economic conditions are very bad. The price of cooking oil used to go up once a year, but cooking oil or butter went up four times last year. We could make ends meet. Our condition wasn't good, but it wasn't very bad either. Now, I can't buy butter or cheese. I expect from the new government to make goods cheap. In this poor neighborhood, some still hope things can change. It's working class areas like this one across Iran the political establishment relies on for its core support. And it's the working class whose standard of living must be improved if the new president is to achieve any sort of success. Asad Beg, Al Jazeera, Tehran.